Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome back to Hydra Near. Oh, that new logo is so fresh. I love it. Yeah, despite the last logo being based on pipes and me being a drainage engineer for 10 years, I uh, wasn't, wasn't actually a fan of it, to be honest. I can see why they shoved drainage underground. But yeah, this one, like it. Anyway, today we are back in the world of Hydra Near. Oh, oh goodness. I think I think I might have broken my machine. Like all my resources keep getting clogged on the magnets. I think I need to reset it, but I can't remember how it works because it's so complicated and I did it so long ago. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, we've also got a gem problem happening as well. <laughs> I need to, I need to like build this machine to like split up all the gems so that all the green ones go in one because then they can get compressed in this thing and then the, they just turn into like a giant gem. For now though, it's first gem, first served. But yeah, aside from that, where did we get to last time? Oh yes, we did the King's Quest where we got this thing which allows us to build stuff like that and, and, and like that. <laughs> Look how tall that thing is. cock a doodle -doo. And speaking of huge dongs, this video is sponsored by Manscaped. Did you know one man every hour, every day is diagnosed with testicular cancer? April is National Testicular Awareness Month, which is why I wanted to talk about men's health issues that are important to me. As viewers of this channel will probably know, all modern day engineering principles are based on knowing which shape is the strongest. Hence why I pretty much go out of my way in every video to prove it. But the strongest shape needs a strong foundation. Yes, I'm talking about balls, people. We need to look after them. Now you may also know I'm a big fan of Manscaped and their Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer. And Manscaped, in addition to providing great manscaping products, have partnered with the Testicular Cancer Society to spread awareness of the most common form of cancer in men aged between 15 and 35. You can perform simple routine checks whilst enjoying Manscaped products such as this, their Crop Mop Bull Wipes, as well as the Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer. Visit manscaped.com forward slash TCS to learn about how to check yourself for early signs of cancer. And as always, you can use my code RealCivilEngineer for 20% off and free shipping. Thank you to Manscaped for sponsoring the channel, but also supporting a great cause. But let's get back to the video. But yeah, today I have another plan. Where there's another vehicle we haven't even checked out yet. So let's just turn this off before we leave. And then let's head over this way because this is where you get the... Oh, look at this view, man. Look at this view. I absolutely adore these bridges. Uh, proper labor of love. I'm not actually sure if I'm going to build another one just because it takes so long. And uh, there's not actually that much more room for them. And I, I don't want to be an architect. I don't want to build like a bridge just, just for the sake of it. Now, uh, these were all actually required because this, I mean, I mean, just look at it. It's, 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 I've got no words. It's just dreadful. Anyway, we are heading along this way under the fish bridge through the town and up to this new area. Where, oh, look, there's the king with the... He's actually got the, the thing that I've got. Anyway, over this way in the vehicles. We bought that last time. Absolutely insane. I don't know. Oh, can I just buy another one? That's Oh, what? Can you dig down? I didn't know you could move that thing up and down. Anyway, we might need that. We might do. But I'm going to invest in this today. The Hydro Prospector. So this basically drills into the ground and allows you to find ore veins, which we haven't actually found any of yet. Like, if you look here, you turn your drill on, drill down, find an ore... And uh, job, jobs are good or something. Oh, is that? I think that's a soup bowl that I littered like ages ago. <laughs> Don't litter. Littering's bad. So that goes in there. And then I press buy. We look completely in the nude there. That's not a good look, mate. But anyway, let's go drive this to a claim. Now, do I go to the claim I already have? Or like, is it worth, is it worth trying to do a new one? All right, I reckon we head up this way. I can't remember if my fishing machine was actually on this save or if I just did that in another save. We're going to have to wait and see when we get a bit closer. Now, apparently it was on another save. So I guess... Oh, hang on, hang on. What happened there? What happened there? You've got like a radio antenna on the top. So does that point me towards gold or veins? So is it saying there's one over this way? And then... Oh, okay. So when it starts spinning... Aha! Okay. So in order to drill, do we right click oh wow so i don't know if you can see down there we are drilling into the ground how do i know if i found one is it the sparks coming out oh look there are gems coming out the top oh so it tells you like what sort of vein it is all right so if i try and find an area without veins which apparently is quite hard to do ah yeah then no no sparks come out the chimney okay got it so something good here what is it i don't actually know what resource i'm looking for maybe what's that meant to be oh is that are they chunks of iron i think they're chunks of iron yeah screw that don't want iron i'm actually wondering is there a core stone one maybe there isn't and this is all a waste of time yeah more iron okay I'll tell you what, I think I might head back to my claim, which is quite easy to find now if you look between those trees. Yeah, I think I'll leave that claim as the as the farming one, because that is quite useful. There's... Oh, I left my miner over there. We'll have to go get that as well. Right, so there's an ore vein here. So we'll drill down iron. Bit boring. 
Oh, no. It's heading right towards the knob. Okay, it's gone past the knob. It's very, very close to it, though. Oh, that's what we wanted. The core stone. Oh, man. Look how close I actually was to it. Like, with my original hole, we're close. Right, anyway. So, we're going to drill there. So, we'll park this up there. And then, where's where's my pickaxe? Right, got a pickaxe here. It is only a common pickaxe, though. We have unlocked the new ones. Oh, so I might head to the shop to go and buy that. Oh, now I'm here. I've just realized I should probably buy some of this stuff. Like all the, all the core stone pipes. Yeah, more water pressure means bigger chunks of resources and stuff. Okay, so let's grab... Where is it? That is the advanced pickaxe. 1,200 twid. So we will buy that. And then I'll just buy a load of these with my remaining twid. Okay, so if I remember correctly, I think the hole is about there that I need to aim for. Um, I am sort of wondering, should I... Like, I don't know. I don't know how deep it's going to be. So I could just dig straight down until I find it. Because look how much dirt there is. It's so deep. I did actually drill out a whole area down here with that drilly thing. I'm going to go. I'm going to go get the drill thing and just mine out, like, everything down here. All right. So we're just going to get in this guy. Ah, I forgot about the turning circle was on this. All right, slowly does it. Slowly does it. Oh, it says down there, use rotation keys to change the digging angle. Oh, R. R, T, and then Y to be flat. In case you're wondering at home. By the way, look at the size of that steering wheel. Can you imagine a steering wheel that big? All right, so we're in our claim. We do... We know what we're aiming for. There's a circle over there. So what I might do, I might just drive over this way. Do the world's slowest spin around. Uh, just so I can get a look at my bridges again. Ah, oh, bridges. All right, then we'll turn these on, aim it down, and then I guess we just drive towards that hole. So this should take us down. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is so cool. Look at us. We are literally mining into the depths of hell. And I am wondering, though, do I need that, like, mining hat to see the actual ore veins? I don't know. We've hit tier three dirt, though, because you can see it's, uh, it looks all, like, sort of lumpy. Oh, look, we actually, we've come out in our mine. <laughs> nice. You can see my hole goes down that way. I was meant to aim for, like, there, so I should have gone that way. All right, one second. Okay, so we try again. Turn it on, and then we got to go... Yeah, that direction. I think I think that's actually good. Look how far off I went last time. Oh, man, this is going way deeper than the other one. Okay. And then we're just looking to find anything that could be an ore vein. I am just I'm concerned I might need my special hat in order to see it. All right, hang on, hang on. We've, we've come out in our hole again. Why am I so bad at this? I'm meant to be like over this way, I swear. Right, so pretty sure I'm meant to be like over this way a bit. Um, if I put this up, does that actually allow me to drive uphill? Oh, it does. Okay, I like that a lot. That's really cool. I like this machine. But yeah, right. I think we're going to leave that there. And then I'm going to drill like from the top. Um, I might go... Is that the hat? That's the hat. Yeah, so when I pick it up, it says finds nearby ore veins. So I probably do want this, right? Yeah, so if I just look around... Oh, look, look. The cogs are spinning when I look. All right, they've stopped doing it now. I can't remember where I was looking. Anyway, let's go back to the surface. And then with our pickaxe, I was just going to drill straight down. Yeah, look, they're spinning. So is it the lower I go, the more they spin? Or Yeah, can you hear that? It's getting louder and louder. Am I in the vein? I don't know. <laughs> All right, perhaps this is the vein and there isn't anything visual about it. So I reckon I probably just need to set up a mine here. So there you go. There is a hole to the surface. So we should be able to find it now. So I think it's probably about here, actually. So if I dig straight down. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the area. So I'm just going to drill something out here and we'll do like a new mining setup. Yeah, then we can compare like how much core stone we actually get by doing this. And I really want to nuke the ground just so I can like clear some space a bit easier. I do. I do have a nuke literally here. I'm worried though. It's a bit close to that. I don't want to ruin that. That's pretty sacred this. Oh, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. What I am going to try and do though is get to the right level and then dig a straight line that way. And then hopefully I can tunnel back this way following my hole. So if we just line up perfectly with that, drop in and then literally just dig in a straight line. I mean, I can dig in a straight line. Unfortunately, I can't actually get down it myself. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We're tunneling. We are tunneling in a straight line. I feel like I'm getting carpal tunnel from all the clicking. But hopefully we're nearly there. Oh, it goes so far. <laughs> right, I'm worried I'm not mining straight because surely I should have found that hole by now. Look, I can dig so far and nothing happens. Right, I'm literally, I'm, I'm stuck now. I'm getting claustrophobic. I don't like this. Help, help. <laughs> oh, I found it. Hang on, what's that? What's... Oh, I found it. I found it. Oh, we nearly missed it. 
We nearly missed it, but we found it. Okay, that's good. So we just need to mark the level, which I think is about there-ish. I have no idea how we're actually going to get our miner up to that level, but still... We'll head back down in this and then try and find that hole I just made, which I'm pretty sure was down this way. Yeah, there it is. There it is. So just above me. So if we reverse back up, turn that on and angle it upwards and then go over this way. Angle flat. Right, then angle upwards. <laughs> oh, no, we're digging straight down. I don't think you can mine upwards once you're mining downwards, if that makes sense. I feel like we're just going straight down. We are. We're just digging vertically. What? <laughs> Yeah, right. So down there, that's the hole I was aiming for. We actually end up down like that's sort of vertical. So I'm, I'm looking flat now. That was me trying to drill upwards. I need to go. I need to go along there somehow. All right. We're going to try this one more time. We're going to mine this way towards it. Oh, oh, look, look. Oh, hang on. If I just move this out the way. Look, that's what the ore looks like. Oh, so I haven't even found the ore yet. The core stone one should look like this, but red. Okay, i tell you what, though. I'm perfectly lined up with this. Let's see. Oh, no, I've, I've just come up with an idea. I have an idea. This is going to be genius. Right, wait there. Where is it? Where is it? Here it is. I finally understand this. So I've got to get you up to there. So what I'm going to do, I'm literally going to build a bridge, but like an actual usable bridge. Oh, I'm a genius. I'm actually a genius. Man, you can, you can click really fast. Fair play. I'm just filling in the gap that I don't want to go down. And I can put like side barriers in so I don't get distracted. And yeah, it's not the best looking thing in the world. It's a little bit a little bit lumpy, but I reckon it might work. And um, I think might is about as good as we're going to get for now. So back in here, let's see. Can we drive over this thing? Okay, I, I literally think that this worked. All right, so now I've got it flat. Oh, no, I've got I've gone the wrong way. I've gone up. I've gone up. Where did the hole go that I was aiming for? This is a disaster. Sod it. Right, fingers over ears, people. This might be loud. Okay, mushroom cloud. <laughs> Mushroom cloud is destroying the shaft. Um, actually, though, it hasn't actually... There's no hole there. Interesting. I honestly thought there would be. Right, so that is done. So if we head down here now... I mean, I'm I'm not seeing the ore, if I'm honest. Uh, there's the hole. So that's the level that I thought it was at. Uh, let's get this hat back on. Have I, have I cocked this or is it somewhere else? Okay, I think I've just got to keep digging somewhere. So let's try and find this thing. Oh, look, look. Yes, yes. Okay, so we finally found it. Which means I can take this damn hat off now. It's annoying. All right, so now I've just got to get all my equipment down there. So we've got the harvester or the drill. So if I drop that... Oh, that's not going to fit down there. Can I, like, carry it? Is that a way to cheese? Yeah, it is. Nice. Yeah, I added some torches so we can see what we're doing. But, I mean, perhaps there will do. That's sort of in the middle. Now, the water connection is on the top of this thing. So I think I'm just going to do another connection from the top, like bring some pipes down. All right, so I haven't got the corner pipes yet, but basically it's going to go straight down there, connect those together. We just missed the dong. And then if we head all the way along this way, we just run parallel with the normal one. And look, we're going to need one of these, an intake. And I remember there was one of those you could craft because I can't build one of them. There's not one in the shop. So I've got my core stone bar here. I'll take that with me. Then if we head into this place, you'll probably remember this lava thing with the anvil and stuff. We just got to go into tools and equipment. Buy this, the core stone intake booster for 300 core stone bar, which should be easy. So then we come over to this. We take that off there. Shove this new one on. Shove my core stone bar in there. And then hit that. And then we should see on the anvil. Boop. Oh, there it is. I was going to say, that didn't do it. But no, there it is. There it is. Oh, and I think, don't we need four of these? Increases intake pipe pressure by 40%. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can fit four of these on a, on a thing. So let's make some more of them. Boosh. And then we'll take all of these back to our claim. And then basically when we shove this guy in, can you see it's got like four gaps underneath? Oh, my last one never had them on. What? I'm an idiot. Anyway, but yeah, these just go in there. So we'll fill that up. And then this should have like super full power. So that's the last one in. That is going to be boosted to perfection. So if we then just add the final bits of pipe in, and we can then use this thing just to do a little check to see how much better it is than the claustium pipes. So this is a water pressure hook. So basically that one there tells me there's 208 pressure going through there. So if I were to just move it onto this one, a direct comparison, 476. It's nearly twice as good. It's actually better than twice as good. Although remember this one has the boosters, that one doesn't. But still that is good to note. Uh, we've also got one of these guys as well, which adds more, more pressure. So this increases the water pressure up to the same value as the intake pipe. So essentially, I think every pipe you add reduces the pressure slightly. 
So I probably want to add this as close as I can to the to the drill, but in a spot where I can actually reach it. So I won't do it down here. I think we'll replace that one. All right, and then we open that. Go grab a shard bar. Thankfully, we have loads stacked up. Of course, use my truss bridge. And then we can shove that in like that. Boosh, close her up. Then if we head down here, we've got the drill set up. I could turn it on, but I think I probably want to set up a conveyor system just to get the stuff out rather than do it down here. I mean, I could just do it down here, to be fair. But no, that is lazy. So we'll do this properly. So conveyor goes on there. We're going to have to bring water out of that. I'll make space for like a couple of drills just in case. So pretty much got that set up. I just need a T and then a straight. And then I just need... I just need my corners going up like that, which means more blooming digging. Aha, but we have sunlight. I'll tell you what, I could try and be clever here by using that pipe to convey this along this way. I mean, or do I just set up a drill here? The trouble is, I don't know if this is just going to be core stone or not. I mean, there's only one way to find out. Get on and build it, Matt. Come on. Okay, so conveyors are going up like that. All right, then I've set up a harvester up here. So we should see whether core stone comes out exclusively or whether it's a bit of everything. So let's hop down and... Oh, no, I need one more conveyor. That's up there. All right, come here, you little conveyor. So shove that on there. And then I should just be able to turn that on. Boosh. And then dirt is coming out. Oh, I'll tell you, actually, that's why, I, that's why I didn't use that one. Hang on, turn it off, turn it off. That is pumping out dirt so quick, by the way. So we shove you on. We then put the hook on there. So that centralizes it. Now, back in my day, that used to be a separate conveyor piece. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> so they go in. They end up in the middle as they go up there. Lovely. And then the dirt comes up to the top into here. And oh, no, it's a mix of everything. Yeah, I guess it's mainly core stone, but there's definitely other resources in there. Oh, including gems. Okay, still, that is a lot of core stone. So fair play. Yeah, let's just turn this off for now. And then we need to find out the best way to get this over to here. I'm thinking maybe lose this top bit and then just take the conveyor with the dirt, like underground sort of, and then land on this one maybe. Seems like a lot of work. So I guess I'll see you in a minute as always. All right, so that took some time, but basically this is now redundant. You can see there's a corner piece in there. So pieces go under there, along there, along there, under my truss bridge, through this, and then the plops out and it should drop just on this conveyor where it can all get sent into this, which I may need to upgrade the pipe. I'm not sure whether this, whether it needs to be fueled by like higher pressure to work better. Not entirely sure. But anyway, let's turn that one on. Then we'll run over this way and turn this on as well. Boosh. And then, oh man, look how fast it's going. So all the dirt's coming up. You can see it's coming along there, going under that way. And then hopefully, yeah, it's dropping onto the upright conveyor but oh where did you come i think that might have been on the conveyor so <laughs> one of the spares yeah so we should see a lot more core stone coming out of here now and then what i'm wondering with these core stone bars can i make a completely core stone sword so i think last time we tried like three different resources in there but i haven't actually tried doing all the same so if we shove that on number one that on number two that on number three and then give it a whack with a hammer. Boosh. Oh, yeah, look. A completely core stone blade. Nice. I never actually checked, actually. Is core stone, is it worth more than gold? Because it's definitely rarer when you're not on a, on a thing. So that's worth 75 coins. And it weighs 3.43. So if we shove gold on, this is a bigger bit of gold. 75, 4.42. So yeah, core stone her weight anyway is is much more valuable decent ah i picked up the wrong thing this huge machine is gonna make me a rich little boy and on that note i'll say peace love and drilling huge shafts bye guys